just whatever discrimination um letting other people that possess no beauty set the standard of beauty come on now that's a weapon formed against you whoever you are out there you should be able to look in the mirror and know that you're beautiful nobody can set the standard of beauty for you but you because you are you and there is no other uh, even as it pertains to et different various ethnic groups this ethnic group cannot set the standard of beauty for that ethnic group because their features are not the same they know what they like but they cannot force their standard of beauty onto you because you're not of that ethnic group so nobody can speak for you but you i don't know who you are out there but you need to hear that and then you know and a lot of people may say well you know uh sister girl i understand what you're talking about but you know the things people say you know still bothers me that's that's natural because you're human but see you got to know who you are in order to know who you are not and you guys i mean take it from somebody who knows take it from somebody who's been targeted all their life because trust and believe i have and i do not have low self-esteem i do not have a poor self-image because when i looked at what was targeting me i looked at what it looked like i looked at what a lot of them probably smelt like i looked at what a lot of them most likely dressed like and i knew that junk was beneath me because see what you know is your strength who am i talking to out there tonight what you know is your strength i'm telling you you've got to get with god confidence is of god now i'm not saying there are not little things about us that we may not try to critique and say oh well this needs to be this way and that way but let me tell you guys something god made everybody the way that he wanted them to look he gave everybody the temple house that he wanted them to have you are the determining factor as to what your beauty is you can't compare yourself to somebody else because you don't look like nobody else and don't nobody else look like you you understand you don't compare your lives to other people god gave you that life god gave you that path of life when you pray for success you're praying for your success not somebody else's i'm not now i'm not don't misinterpret me don't, now i'm not saying you don't pray for other people to be successful but what i'm saying is what you pray for God, as it pertains to your life, is for your life. Meaning, what God has for you, it is for you. Now, as for these demons on this earth that, that do nothing but uh, stay on social media, uh, targeting people, insulting people, trying to critique people, let me tell you something. They don't look like nothing themselves. And they're jealous of the people that they're trying to critique. They're jealous of the people that they sit there and meditate on all day on social media. They're jealous of the people they sit there and they try to nitpick this and nitpick that. And if somebody get a pimple or they, they got to talk about that. If somebody has, um, what do you call it, Pick, uh, hyperpigmentation, I think that's what it's called. They got to um, ridicule that. But look at what they look like themselves. Look at these folks. They are not beautiful. They are ugly. They are not intelligent. They are ignorant. A lot of them are not successful. And even if they are successful as it pertains to this world's definition of success they're still dumb they're still ignorant because let me tell you something a college degree cannot buy you common sense okay them being successful in the 3d realm cannot buy them common sense it cannot buy them intelligence intelligence cannot be bought you, you, you either have it or you don't and your enemies don't have it you must understand that when people target you, the people that are targeting you are in lack. You are in an abundance. A lot of you may say, well, well, I, you don't feel like you're in an abundance because you're like, well, you, some of you may not you have any um, money tonight. You may not even have a home tonight. You may not even have a car tonight, but you're still in an abundance because everything that you want is in Jesus Christ. Ask, seek, and knock in his name. A lot of you may say, well, I've been asking and seeking and knocking for years and I ain't got it yet. Have you taken the initiative to utilize the gifts and the talents that he's given you in order to make a profit? See, God don't just give you something for you to let it lie dormant and die when you do physically. No. You take one step, watch him take two. You take three steps, watch him take another one, four. Let me, the reason why I say that is because... Um, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. 
You got to get moving. You got to get activated. And apart from faith, uh, without faith, it is impossible to please God. You understand? So basically what I'm saying is God is your power source for everything that you need in life. Anything that you are in lack as it pertains to tonight, and, and most people are standing in lack in some area in their life. Maybe your situation is not like anybody else's. Maybe my situation isn't yours. Yours isn't mine. Blah, blah, blah. But everybody is in a situation tonight where they need to go to God for something. Even if it's just to have peace of mind, you need to go to God for something. Even if it's just to put your enemies under your foot, you need to go to God for something. You've got to know that you are wonderful. And that's bottom line right there. And that's what your enemies will hate most about you, is that you know you're wonderful. So that when they come at you with that negativity trying to make you feel that you're not, they hit the armor. And it's returned to Sunday. Okay? So with that said, God bless you all until next time. I would make this a little longer, but I just want, but I, you know, I, I really had not intended on doing any more conferences right now. Right now, at this moment. But I, I wanted to put a word out there uh, because I feel like some, somebody out there may need it. And just know that um, whoever you are, you're beautiful. Just like you are. There's nothing wrong with your nose. There's nothing wrong with your lips. There's nothing wrong with your skin color, your hair texture, your hair length. Uh, for you fellas out there, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, God made you exactly uh, how he wanted you to look. And, you know, God created Adam in his own image. You know, if you want to see what the image of God looks like, look at a man. I don't care if he's tall, short, thin, or stocky. Men are created in the image of God. All men are. I don't care what that sexual preference is. They are shaped in the image of God. That's why they're supposed to walk in power and authority. You understand? So that's basically all I have to say. You empower yourself with the power from on high to stand up against the wiles of the devil. A wile is a trick. The devil is tricking you. He's trying to make you think you're not powerful and you are. Take it from somebody who knows. Take it from somebody who knows. Whenever I hold my conferences, I know what I'm talking about. Because there's not an enemy out there that I won't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. And if they sling an insult at me, I'm going to sling one back because I know you're jealous and you're hating whoever you are. You understand? Carry yourself in a way where there's nothing that anybody can say to make you hate yourself, dislike yourself, or want to change yourself. Because I guarantee you, the one that's coming at you and targeting you and ridiculing you, they are but ugly. Okay? So anyway, you guys, God bless you all until next time. You better see what these folks look like and hold your head up. Because you're better than them. And you look better than them better than them too. Okay? All right, you guys. I'm going to go and get off because I'm getting tongue-tied here. I mean, the devil think he's going to trip my tongue up and he can think again. All right, you guys. Let me finish up this ice cream. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. Mm -mm. Yeah, treat yourself to some ice cream, y'all. Or some pizza or something. Treat yourself good. That's what your enemies hate. They hate that you love you. Bye-bye. If you, And if you don't, you should. Okay? Bye-bye.